Welcome on back everyone to Total War Warhammer 3 in part 4 of our legendary Yuan Bo and Mortal Embars campaign. In today's episode, things are going to look a little bit different from before, and actually I'm going to ask for you all, you all's help. If you uh, play legendary campaigns more often than me, which is uh, almost zero, how does the save system work? I thought it was basically saving the game every in turn, and then anytime you were getting into a battle, so if you were to uh, click on Yuan Bo and charge over to Maku Peaks, it would save as you had surrounded that settlement. Um, so when I loaded back up and we were in the intern, uh, before we had been ambushed by the ogres, I found myself a bit surprised. Uh, so I tried to reset a couple times, and it worked for a time where I was able to close out of the game when it wasn't giving us that ambush. Uh, but this time, as you can see, that is not the case, and it, it is now saved for some reason. And I, I couldn't tell you why, because... Uh, Nothing changed from the resets before it just all of a sudden it decided to save. It's like, nope, you will be doing no Go more resets. And execute. Uh, so just so you all know what's going on, we were supposed to be having an ambush here where we might have lost a, a caravan, and I was pretty sure we were. Uh, but Check now, things are quite boring. Uh, the Blood Keepers have been wiped out. Uh, over there in Taizu, we have demolished the Wares Market. Uh, we finished up the conscription field in Shangwu to help out with the control. Uh, we've got a new mission, gifts for all the family, raid a region belonging to any of the following enemies of the re Eastern River Lords, so the Dreadfleet Flag or the Defenders of the Great Plan. Uh, that'll give us some treasury and some diplomatic relations, plus 40 with the Eastern River Lords. Uh, yeah, but besides that, everything else is exactly the same. We just didn't get ambushed. So again, if you know exactly how the save system works here on Legend, uh, or Legendary, let me know uh, so that way I can try to avoid this in the future. Because uh, this is quite anticlimactic, I cannot lie. Uh, so our plan is going to be a, to be a bit more aggressive than we were in our first run through. We went straight after. We were still very aggressive, but we went after the Lizardmen. This time, we're going to wipe out the small manling empire. So because if you don't follow do. the Dragon Emperor, what use are you? Dragon speed. We're going to march, charge all the way over to the border of swamp down here and hopefully they won't even see this coming it looked like we're just running back to Pahuax. we can't quite make it so we're we're just setting up camp in march it's perfectly normal yes go trek you and felix do the same come on over in march i am going to have Zhao kang follow them the plan being we are going to Want to go into March stance? We have Gotrek and Felix. I think we'll I think we'll be fine. From here we shall plan. We're going to try to attack the Wellsprings of Eternity because we know there's at least one final Skaven settlement here. And while they are likely building up, it's probably nothing more than clan rats. If we're, if we're wrong, we're wrong, but we have Gotrek and Felix to try to hold the line, so it should work out for us. Well, we do have the four steel tokens since uh, the Isle of the Crimson Skull isn't tier three. Uh, we are not actually able to use those. So if uh Push comes to shove, we might end up using some of the Levy the Provinces. Well, actually, none of these are all that powerful for us. We can wait. Patience is a virtue that I often do not possess. To be the chose. You want Mao, you are over here in Taizu. I think what we're going to do is just hand that over to uh, Little Brother Zhao right away. But we are going to move to see about attacking Jing Po. Usually, uh, see if we've met Eshin yet. Oh, it's Skaven. There they are. Clan Eshin is only fighting uh, Mommy Meow. So we need only stab them in the back. Plus, that should get us in good standing with Attention. Meow Ying. We'll just come on, pop up out of Taizu. Advance without Go robots. into in camp stance. We aren't going to be punishing all that much. Bit Men, sad. To your exercises. I will not have a day wasted. I think we'll be all right. Uh, so we'll just get Xiao oh, Ming on the phone on the then, Swan. and offer him Taizu. You. And you will give me a defensive alliance. Sold. Absolutely. Order the Jade Sworn gladly receives you. Cafe's might. He might be talking about the Jade Blooded Alchemists. Honor, before Portola wants to 
sign a uh, non-aggression pact, I think we're going to be fairly... Supreme! Uh, yeah, they supremacists oh, against all the other human races. Oh, except for probably the ones in the old world. So we are going to wipe out most everyone else that's a competition over in... Uh, I greet you over in Lustria, authority. which is exactly how things played out, I think, in history. Child as all the colonies the ended up started fighting. May the master of the celestial winds 69 coins from young sun, so we've got defensive Harmony alliance coming out left and right, which means we are about to be in all sorts of new wars. Otherwise, I was worried about mostly just building up alliances with Cathay, but sure. now we're going to have all sorts of new, of new enemies quite soon. And anyone that now declares war on them after this, we are forced to get involved with, or else. So the Lazargs might choose to come over here across the river and just kind of avoid Xiao Ming. It looks like he got battered. What are you guys up to? They want the Shrine of the Alchemist that badly? For Grand Cathay. Makes very little sense, I can't lie. We're just gonna so kind of move and march stand or in. Camp stance. I wish I had a hero up here, that way I could kind of scout the ruins out, but it's not going to be the way. We will go ahead and chuck in a Shrine of the Yin here to continue to help out with uh, both Yin and Troll. And it's either four turns to wait on a Shang Wu. I think we'll go ahead and wait. We won't use the population here. Too long shall just have to rest. Let's pop back on over to Aymara Swamps, which we we still can't do anything at, so that's excellent. We can use some of our built-up gold to then start building in some new outposts. So the Jade Custodians, which are the first we are likely to confederate with. Let's come on down to the Burning Wind. I don't have anything exciting, really. Where is their most defensive settlement here? Bamboo Crossing, are I you a her. provincial capital? You are indeed, so that's where we'll drop in the outpost. Excellent, also will help them defend the settlement a bit more. And then, well, you know what? We might try to avoid confederating the custodians while we build up relations with the western provinces. Let's go ahead and grab the... Nongchang, their capital, yep. And that can give us all sorts of good units, so we'll build in the outpost there as well. We just won't build the one in Xiao Ming's. Not because that'd be a 2,000 gold we just kind of chuck into the fire if we end up confederating him quickly. Alright, we skip on through. This says we have one outpost. We do, but... I want to save a little bit of our gold. Rule Yao Ming, or... Combine up all the names all together. I threw you on bow is activated. Through me. All right. Well, let's get rid of our lords and heroes. I'll just take one final sweep through our diplomacy. Do you know who I am? I think it's just what? the Bordello, Aaron, and such that we haven't talked to. Child of Eastern the River Lords, the most likely to form a confederation with us. Jiaoming is actually a really long ways off, so you know what? We will go ahead and build an outpost with them as well. All of the extra units we can get in just with allegiance points are going to be amazing. Uh, Hanyu Port is the capital there, so we'll go ahead and just pop one in. Beautiful. All right, now we're going to swing back over to Yuan. And in the turn. All right, new mission, capture many provinces. We're at two out of three, we can do that. Only through conquest that true power may be achieved. True enough. Our reward will be a thousand treasury and a fairly met obsidian amulet, which will give us a little bit of no resistance. Which I guess will be all right if we end up fighting at Mazda Mundi, but he doesn't really have any direct contact spells. I'm not, at least none that are coming to mind. Uh, Karak Azorn has been destroyed, and so have the Thunderguts and the Dissenter Lords. You dissent no longer. Waddle has the right of Sotek. And so now we've got technology research. Your regret training. Down to the lowliest middle managers, every servant of the Emperor must work towards the common goals of good fortune and prosperity for every Cathayan soul. Excellent stuff. Or bureaucracy. 
got a new mission, even the uh, research technology, so we need to get eight of them under our belt. We're at three. Uh, once we do so, we'll get a bit of treasury, a talisman of preservation, very good, and then the talisman of endurance, which is a step down from that one. Or Zay blocks all damage. The Emperor's architect. All right, Swamp Town. Who are you Scouts all at war with? Scouts are wily negotiators, so don't you try and fleece us. Are you a scout? You don't look like one. A bit pompous for a scout. Enjoy being annihilated. Dragon. Here, let's scoot a bit closer to see if there's anyone hiding there. We've got Dolph Becker. The Empire. Well, Dolph. Prepare to meet the Jade I Dragon. The Emperor. He's probably in. Entirely surprised. Absolutely not. Ha. Our swords are ready, invader. Cathayans, to war. Well, we'll see about that. Swamp Town gives us a close victory. The Imperial crossbows are quite dangerous, especially against our peasant archers. Uh, we nearly have caught up with them in range, though, so we only have to move a few more feet before we can fire, which means we may only have to sacrifice a few of our peasant archers if for the greater good, which I'm here for. Athens. The battle. So after witnessing the sheer carnage you could unleash on these savage orcs, I'm very excited to see what these even more tightly packed regiments of men will do against the transformed jade dragon. So let's start deployment. While I'm tempted to set up on the high ground. The forest will provide our archers some cover. Uh, so maybe we hide a contingent over here in the woods. Let's go just maybe three. Like I currently have selected. We'll go one unit. Okay, come on now. That's a jungle. Our archers' clothes are too green. Peasant archers. Not the right shade of green, though. I used to think these guys were... Yeah, they wear like a dark forest green. Ridiculous. We've got camouflage. Okay, well, if that doesn't work, we'll go ahead and set up our archers in... Defenders of ...up on the hill. As long as we have the high ground, it eliminates a little bit of those crossbows. Range advantage. We'll kind of have it where they're set. You firing on them as soon as they get into the gully. And hopefully they're not on the hill themselves getting any kind of range bump. A lot more archers behind them. Defenders of Cathay. All right, I was gonna spread a couple of these guys out a bit in the back line here. So we'll have all of our spears behind them, since they aren't really packing any kind of cavalry whatsoever. We don't necessarily have to worry about it, but we are still going to uh, prepare. So we'll just march them through once the enemy crossbows get a bit closer. Let's go Jade Lion, Longma, our uh, Crows, which actually count as a Yin unit. Gate Master, Gate Master out front. One bow, and then I'm actually going to have the Jade Warriors in the center. That way they can move out a little bit faster than the Spears, if need be. Right. Range advantage. Gen four. Go. Together, so a missiles together and our flyers. So let's go ahead and get group two Warriors. into a guard mode. Good stuff. Let's bop them. Dolph is going to want to run away from. Uh, this is not merely by you want to go aggressively. That I rule, but my diligence. Capable army, just a bit. And force of arms. And I am gonna have to force them to come over here towards us. So let's grab you on. And move them in. Stand by my side against these foes. Bureaucrats. The chosen of Cathay. I'm going to move you up in normal mode. We'll speed the camera up a bit so we're not sitting here forever as he runs. Gonna move towards us, huh? Let's see what your crossbows try. And I'll just stand here and fire some stuff at this group of swordsmen. We might get a couple guys here. Especially as they come up and press the hillside. I'll two of them miss. Blast in just fine. 
All right, Yuanbo, you go ahead and just charge into the free company militia. And then we'll transform you as soon as you arrive. They're actually firing with crossbows. They normally don't shoot at uh, small targets. I'm impressed. Momentarily. And dragon mode. Okay, let's go ahead and pull the crows back a little bit. Same thing with the longma. We can pop you on the dragon. So we'll just go ahead and send him down into the crossbows here. Creatures in the sky! Creatures in the sky. A surprising lack of damage coming out of there. He's going to give them the good old whip. Send the lion forward. Let's go ahead and send the longma in to help Yuanbo because they've got him a good and surrounded. Our archers are absolutely blanketing the enemy in uh, missiles. Go ahead and have all of the spears march forward. Out front, same thing with the Jade Warriors. Long way, you just go ahead and smash in here, Yuanbo. What's going on? They're doing a good job of kiting you around, aren't they? Their crossbows are gone. We'll go ahead and blast some J Lion Breath here just to scare this unit off completely. Spears, go ahead and charge into this group of spearmen. The dragon's having a little bit of trouble back there. The Imperials proving a bit more dangerous than, uh, than their previous foes. For the long spears on the other side here. These crows back up in the air, and we'll just go help out Guan Bows. Got a lot of enemies to chase off here. You would actually charge through maybe and get even more damage. Oh, not quite. Well, here comes the cavalry. They thought they wouldn't notice I missed. They lost their orders. We didn't even need to use the uh, execution blade on the enemy. He charged into uh, Kevin and got absolutely destroyed. Of course, Kevin doesn't really look like he's actually swinging at anything. He's just holding the shield up waiting, but hey, it works. Imperial's absolutely annihilated. We've got a few units left here in the middle. Let's go ahead and have the lion run you down. Roman swooping in. We'll have them go after this with the crossbows. They are not fleeing. You guys come back around as well. Looks like they've gone ahead and brought their spears. The time, Interesting. The certainty. Gone. Yeah, let's go ahead and land in this group of crossbows. You come on back and blast some Jade Lion breath through with these poor unfortunate spears. I'm do. Then go ahead and uh, clobber these crossbows. That should be that. Jade Dragon, you go ahead and charge through these spearmen. I thought he would actually give them the charge through. Their brace does not hit the spears. We'll just go after this bumped up to the swords. Alright, a few other units are coming back. Let's just keep moving ours around. No reason to leave the position on the hillside. Let's go ahead and have these three archers target this group of spears. Oh no, that's all that's all she wrote. Imperials run for the hose. Pretty cool color scheme though with the red and gold. I quite like it. Because most of the Imperial units we get are just all yellow, which is quite bland. And we smush Dolph of the Becker clan. Only 40 of our own falling. That's what we like to see. Now we'll just go ahead and occupy the swamp town as is. We shall annex this. We shall indeed. It's already been done. And it's a sad day in the New World Colonies. Pretty sure... No, Port Reaver is their most... Maybe it's not. Sigma Monument to the moon, but it has a moon in it, so it belongs to me. Of the moon Empress. Armies of the Celestial Court. Yes, please. Our Jade Lions and I'll bump up Yuan Bo's spellcasting. And we'll get more resistance from jet the Jet Lions once we get them. And our Onyx Chroman should be a lot better against infantry. 
The Jade Dragon. Let's give you the continued hard to hit the uh, Kevin Ma. No new ancillaries or items to speak of for now. Which is fine. This. We might as well pop out and grab this mysterious island. We might be able to go all the way around and grab the mon hit the Monument of the Moon and then Griswold is building up like the only archers. Yeah, he can't do anything other than archers and spears. Which will be no problem. Lord Magistrate reporting. Lord Magistrate will have you press up here with Gotrek and Felix. On the move! In March stands outside of the Wellsprings. There's no way there's not rats here. Oh, there's, oh, that's Nurgle Corruption. Where's the Skaven? No, there's 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 no one there. Really? Why not? We should probably change that. And okay, let's find out. Eat up the miles. There's no one there. All right, well, Gotrek and Felix shall colonize Our this or Cathay. Oh, did they just burn it to the ground after taking out the Skaven? Uh, you guys can go ahead and leave, please. And thank you. The inevitable or else is also coming. Okay, so we don't have enough uh, allegiance points for any of our... Uh, recruitment through the ally pools yet. Grab you, a few more archers. Even get the peasants now all through global. That's call. fantastic. Expensive, but fantastic. Uh, so now we'll go ahead and upgrade the Contemplation Gardens for more growth. Go ahead and grab the Spice, uh, the spice Market for more growth and income. Description Field for better control is also quite intriguing. Let's go ahead and help out our overall income at the moment. Oh, I did want to throw in the barracks building, didn't I? Okay, that's what we'll do instead. Doesn't make us any more gold, but it will make you one those armies stronger once we circle back around. Doink. We'll worry about making money here in the home province. The dragon's love is in doubt. All right, back at the Baleful Hills, we can chuck in. Spice market for a bit of gold and some yen. That's what I'm gonna do. We need to try to bump up that a little bit further. That way we have more to work with every turn here. Celestial general. Still in friendly territory. Still in Taizu. There may still be a ton of rats hiding out here. Travel with readiness. That's really no telling. Set up for a turn. We will. I will root. make a soldier. Out of every raw recruit. Revolt. We have 101 gold. Okay, so what do we got for our technology? Right of Yang. Upkeep reduction for all of our Yang units. That's everyone that's melee. That's actually a really good call. Extra income from all of our Yin industry. Also really good. But let's go ahead and uh, drop the upkeep for all of our Even melee now, units for perpetuity. Ready to defend. Oh, do you finally the want to start making deals, Miao Ying? Enemy must be fought on multiple finally. Fronts. A, boon to, the a boon to the Bastion. Looks like Village has already broken in through the middle gate. That is no good. Attention. Hold the line. I am a warrior of the dragon. I got Wall is also going to go ahead and give us some gold for trade agreement and things. Right. You like all of the monies away from them. Good news is we know that the Deathmaster and his other armies are all up here in the north, so we can hopefully do some damage here in the south, taking away his uh, his recruitment capabilities. The reaction from the Deathmaster is going to be swift, though, so we need to be we need to be ready. Natural. Let us manifest. Real wardens are likely not long for the world, so we'll just go ahead and take the non-aggression with them. They need all the money they've got left. Natural authority. River lords are being pushed back on both sides. The Treadfleet flag has been in this uh this campaign quite a long quite a long time. I'm impressed. The Empire Scouts are no strangers to war. We welcome it. 
he wiped out Skeggy very quickly as well. Since we're smushing the New World Colonies, he's actually... I'm confused. Did they... like? Who knows? We're not going to yoink the gold away from Philip because then we'll be a bad boy back on the other side of the world and no one will want to make any kind of deals with us. I think the Jade Mask cost five. So this is the action that if you are able to set your dramatic uh, reliability to it very high, and it can't be reduced no matter what you do this turn. So you can be all sorts of evil, and it, everyone will turn a blind eye. Sorcery through me. Right. Hopefully we can get over here to take down this whole fool before you can see anything going on. Yep, let's go ahead and save a bit of gold, and we will have some to work with in the next couple turns. Come, rest. You have journeyed hard. He has it. With the uh, Zhao completely ignoring the Lazargs, she's having to deal with all of it. Join the war with the uh, ogres. Yeah, I probably should. She'll pay me some gold. That'll do. Yeah, they must stand united. We've got a caravan encounter that is not an ambush, sadly. Uh, so the stranger, as the caravan comes to a halt for the night, a stranger wanders into the ad hoc camp. Stopped by the guards, he begs an audience with the caravan master. His offer is to join the retinue for no pay. For his safety in numbers, but he will protect the caravan. This time, it's a noble. He will definitely be of some use. Foundation Stone here with you on Mao, a trader from the Ivory Road, respectfully begs to barter with you. She has what she claims is the very first brick laid in the Great Bastion, stolen away early in its construction and only now on Earth. Truly, this is an object of ancient and sacred power. Do we have a guy who can verify this? I don't know if we trust her. We'll go ahead and we could extort the traitor and make him selfish so he would lose leadership. Or we could return the brick and uh, gain control. So if you want just a quick 2,000 cash for a pretty pretty awful trait, go for it. This one's not that bad if you don't really care about having him in battle, but we're going to make him a selfless leader. All for Cathay and Cathay for all. Blood guzzlers guzzle no more. Only blood they guzzle, I guess, is their own. Uh, An outpost is going in now for the Jade Custodians. And Yuanbo is starting to tighten the grip. Trespassing warning ignored. You wouldn't, would you? Well, they did. Not. You are lying to me, trespassing warning. It's got two turns for that before that goes in. We should Master probably bring Zhao Kang nearby. But at the same time, who's really going to threaten Gotrek and Felix? Ah, uh, Walks can go up to the next tier. Or we can get the dormitory in here. Since we're going to have a lot of post-battle loot, let's go ahead and upgrade Bahwaks first. For Cathay. We will send Cathay's finest in to grab this mysterious Arch island. Your rations. Maybe it'll crash our game? Oh, not this time. The Remnants. Strange campsite is discovered, populated by statues. Oh, it's time to leave. Fire still burns and is cook a cooking pot bubbles, yet no living thing attends. Just statues fashioned in the throes of a failed escape. Then in the undergrowth, something hisses. This needs to be a lightning fast raid. Or, get this, one bow can blaster with a meteor. Uh, we'll grab either Fortified Grog, giving us a mug of root beer, or those who escape. So, what are we? Yoinking away the statues and, and uh, purifying them? Welcome to Cathay. During your dalliances on the high seas, you came across a stranded crew, willing to join you in exchange for food and a rescue. They're all statues. How do we save them? Oh, don't worry about it. We've got a Serpent Fang that has got poison attacks and extra armor cursing, and then we've press ganged a whole bunch of people into our crew. Lovely. Like I said, welcome to Cathay. You have no choice. Alright, you want both? Be real aggressive. We're gonna set a tone. Go into March and just sail right outside their waters. We are not scared of you. Next turn, we're taking your things. He might come back to the swamp town and then 
And that would be a pretty baller move. Can't lie. We'll go ahead and grab the dormitory here, perhaps. Before I do, let's see how... Or if we can do any upgrades here. Ooh, yes. Baleful Hills would give us more income and growth. And I think that's going to be the way. Instrument of I also the would really like to declare war on this cave and... They are winning their current fights, though, so whatever we start, we're going to have to be able to hold the line. I think Jean Po is going to be a good place to do it, though, so... Among oh, Miao Ying. The struggle against the great I will join your struggle against Eshin on multiple fronts. and all of their aggression. You give me some money. Cathay's cohesion. It is indeed, where we shall all fall together. First, though, we take the rats of diamond the mines. Onward. Now we find out there's a four stack sitting up here. Even though this gives us a decisive victory, we are absolutely going to throw down. They've got six summons of Menace Below, which is honestly a nightmare for how many archers we have. Let's take them down fast. Can we just give this the auto resolve? Yoink. We are we'll go ahead and actually fight out ones that are either medium or close battles, but that was went about as well as uh, we could have hoped for. Oh, we could be dastardly. I think we Our should. Orders are to reap. Our orders are to reap. We've got an armor of the dragon's gaze. Look at that. Through many jade eyes adorning Yuanbo's armor, the Moon Empress can see all and exert her will through his reading chip. The reason we fought didn't fight that one is it just wasn't there wasn't that many rats there. Alright, we've also got the bandits of the silver road, which I'm likely going to have in Yuan Mao's army. Awesome. And we get 5,000 more treasury. Right, you go ahead and turn back around and claim Jingpo now. Take this and hold it. And we definitely are gonna have to hold the line. Uh, so you we take out the diamond mine. There's going to be so many rats coming over the hill. Celestial General. Let's get ready to weather the storm. We'll take Aura of Endurance here and lead from the front. I'm going to go ahead and actually remove him also from his Jay Longma. We can continue to use his Celestial Sweep ability, which will be able to blend up all of the rats. Armor of Fortune. Oh yeah, since Yuan Bo has got his Armor of the Dragon's Gaze here, which is going to give us... Lots of good bonuses, extra in armor for himself. These two are not as useful, uh, but the armor of the dragon's gaze for a more ward save is fantastic. Give him the armor of fortune, five extra armor, resistance, and a ward save. If anyone else needs any items, looks like Kevin could have a dragon helm. His helmet is already quite amazing. 10 out of 10 on the helmet game. Attention! You've already got the Empress's Crowman. What do these guys do? They apply flammable. So we probably want to make sure this is in a group that has a caster that is fire and a couple of artillery pieces. So we probably won't, won't recruit them for now. Love is in doubt. It is not. You're being dramatic. Uh, next turn, we can go ahead and upgrade Shang Wu. One back over to Aymara Swamps. And we can definitely afford the dormitory now. Our worship comes unheard. Won't upgrade Xi Long, even though it wants us to. I can visualize it. Uh, Zhao Kang, we'll give you one more spear, one more, one more archer, or we can actually set up in global for a turn or two because you do need, you do need some armor. We'll give you two Jade Warriors. Is really all you need, and the rest could be just peasant archers. Archers for days. Go Trek and Felix. Let's not worry about giving you any units. Go Trek, Post up inside the walls, then keep the keep the order. Love to do some Celestial more trading, but I think we are pretty well out of actual trade goods. Instrument of the divine. Ooh, there's our first confederation. It is with the Celestial Loyalists. We could pick the Loyalists, the Celestial Eastern River Lords, or the Custodians here. 
Which of you do we already have a uh, outpost in? The custodians? We'll probably leave them. The dragon blooded. River lords have been pushed back out of Shi Wu. Oh, they lost Fu Chao as well. They have. Okay, so the Eastern River Lords are about to go the way of the Dodo either way. General! We probably just want to take the Celestial City. Let's go ahead and confederate up it's... with uh, Qian Huo here. Pardon my lack of nuance. I am a warrior. That's all fine. Not a Welcome to this team. Let's just thank our ancestors. Let's thank our ancestors. Now we're much, much, much closer to uh to the Skaven. Sigma's will. Oh, hello there. The dragon blooded. We have now yes. breached relations with all of the Imperials. Who is the most likely to survive? They're all really low in uh, strength right now. All right. That's so, not great. Sigma's will. Alabheim is actually already trading with Reichland, listen, so we'll go ahead and take it on aggression sure, and all right. of their money. We care not if they fall. Yes. I guess we'll just do that Greetings across the board here. On behalf of the Empire. Affirmative. Affirmative. We're not even listening. The Empire. Well, scrolls come in listen, begging for you on those assistance. Short. All we do Fine. is take your money. Stamp. Sure. All right. Osland. Greetings on behalf of the As you say, sir. As you say, sir. Oh, you've got a case of helmet, Ed. I understand. What? Greetings Nordland also is going to pay us some money for non aggression. Heck yeah. Child of we'll go ahead and trade with the Imperial Wardens. That you are on the side of I the won't righteous. take their gold the as much as I'd like to. They Jesus need it to help chosen. the war effort. Child Attention. Cool. Natural authority. Instrument of the divine. Let's go ahead and nick. Well, no, we're going to not take any kind of a military agreement with them. We'll let that build up. They can offer me one for some gold. I agree. Village being right here is He's quite terrifying. Dead. He's got muddled mines. And the city of the Shugen Gun is suffering. Definitely going to stay in the Yang focus. Let's tear out the corral for the peasant horsemen. That's not super useful. Shotguns are, Jade Crosswomen are, so we'll come on back into Wei Because even if we lose the city of the Shugen Gun, that's no big deal. We will just hang out in the Celestial City. Hold the line here. These horsemen are costly and not very good, so we'll go ahead and take them out. Uh, we will replace them with a couple of armored crossbows. And some crows because of how useful having air advantage is here. General! This is fairly terrifying. Thankfully, Wei Jin has a nasty garrison. Alright, you? How would you pronounce that? You, a Wu? I'm not gonna... I'm not even gonna try. I already did once. We're not gonna do it again. Go trick. Yeah, no, you guys just hang out here. What else can we get up to this turn? Doesn't look like a whole lot. Even with our new acquisitions, we are going to have suffer from... I believe it's, oh, it's actually only four control. That's not a big deal at all. I'm going to be a little bit careful with all of our confederations because we will start making enemies with Cathay if we're going to drop too many of them. Yeah, so wait a second. Why do we have three caravans? I am so incredibly confused. So is that what happened? Is we got some for some strange reason we duplicated Tanzi's because his name was this his name was Tanzi previously. Because Teddy was the only we didn't have three caravans. At least I don't think we did. Oh, you know what? We just we got one in from our confederation. I'll I'll stop sounding crazy. Because when you confederate a faction, you take their caravans in as well. It's like, what what happened? Is this why we, we didn't get our, our ambush early on? No. Just weird save stuff. All right, so let's move on through. It really wants this dread upgrade. She longs. So we're going to have to ignore them in the turn. You are not welcome before my court. Oh, you want peace already? Leave. Uh, yeah, exactly. Leave. Oh, polite impoliteness. 
Drugina have fallen. Hopefully Katarin's doing all right. That's never a good sign though. Well, luckily also the Apostles of Change have fallen. So with uh, all things comes balance. Four outposts going on in. Let's start adding in more things like hunting camp here, giving us spurs and 115 gold. Let's see how things are playing out here. So wait, are they striking? Are you fighting against the Skaven? All I need to say to make you no, I guess the Skaven just burned it down. You are Chianchi, huh? Well, now I know where to direct the moon fire. Hi, boy. Who calls? You free with the Lazargs in the New World colonies. Both will the cover there is no peace. Instrument Only the void. Of the divine. You continue to build up your forces. Let's go one more Onyx Proman. Rossbow. Rossbow. Uh, City of the Shukan Gun, we will have hop in. The control building on the other side, the conscription office, which will also bump us further into Yang, giving us a little bit of a reduced uh, reduction in recruitment cost, a bump in recruitment rank, a bump in recruitment capacity, and then a more research rate. Avushing. And now we strike the Monument of the Moon. Rizwal, you lost Port Reaver too. What happened? Well, that's not good. That means we're about to get jumped by a horde of lizards. Another decisive victory. He's the Elector Count of Nordland? How, how did this happen? Well, weak or not, let's have ourselves another battle. Let's get him. Ooh, I was hoping it was going to be kind and keep my uh, previous formation, and it did. We'll just do this. Set the lads up. I'm actually not going to move Yuan Bo into combat this time. They did just blast him with arrows almost immediately. Guard mode. Let's get it going. Who's ready to slay some more men of false Imperials? Together, we shall reduce these bows to a red mist. He's got much better insults the than better I do. To water our fields and trouble our families no more. March in. Naturally. Just have the crows stay nearby. Blast them with some magic. Throw it at the unit behind them. It should go straight through. It actually worked out way better. I miss. It did blow up the unit behind him, though. All right, crows, do your thing. You on bow, do your thing. Ogma. Kill them all. Send the spearmen through. Yep, see the crossbows, especially when they focus fire, they do some serious damage. Go ahead and drop the Jade Blade on uh, poor Griswold here. Excellent. Uh, send the Jade Warriors up. Same thing here with you. They did get you on though, caught. Fall back a bit there, my friends. Jade Lion as well, you got, you got caught by the enemy. Longma, you just come back around. Use that terror to scare those fools off. Most flash stepping around the enemy line. We'll get the crows out of the back line there. And beautiful stuff. It is just a shooting gallery now. You guys go ahead and hit the back line of this group of spears. Not that any of you are likely willing to keep fighting. And the dragon ponies rustle all the jimmies. Yeah, that's that. Let's go ahead and get out of here. And that was pretty short and sweet. 14 Cathayans fall and they will all be remembered with honors. A 
no reason to sack. We will just come on in and claim the Monument of the Moon. We shall annex this. We get a new province under our control. Spell Shield. 5 defense and 12% spell resistance, which only is going to count for spells and a magical ability. So what do you think is like a, a single target, a passive like missile? Yeah, you know, let's see. We've got, I bet you on those spell would count. We'll say that it would just reduce the overall damage of the Emperor's Executioner by 20%. Or not 20%, whatever that spell shield was. It was 12. After many problems, this gives us a thousand more treasury and a obsidian amulet. The Emperor's architect. A lot of the reason I will not equip those is that they're just not the most useful. AI spell casting is uh, at best very, very hit or miss. So this only unlocks at rank 12 what we get up in here. Have to control a lot of buffs to construction costs and time. Mask of Jade for better diplomatic relations. And then more leadership or size when in human form. Interesting. Upkeep and movement range in own territory. That is insane. Gives them some rocket boots. Spell resistance plus 30% for the whole army, so we're just kind of turning the whole squad into more or less Dowie. I think they come stock with either 30% or 40% spell resistance, which is awesome. Dragon. Dowie Dwarves being very anti-magical. I think we've just got a bunch of ports here, so we will have to wait until we can upgrade some of these themselves. Of the you which the is the way. The Could come on into global here. And grab a few units, and I think we will. We could use the Levy the Provinces. Wait, one turn, so it's like they are going up in uh, a single turn. Kind of feels like a waste, though, I can't lie. We'll just have him retreat, and uh, Zhao Kang can go up north. Full parts moving through to engage probably the, uh, the Dark Elves here, and I'm happy to let them clash. Fight! So yeah, we'll go ahead and... Oh, you're almost done. Yeah, we'll let you finish up recruiting there. Chuck in the iron mining pit here. Or do we need the growth more? I think we need the control more, but we need the... We'll grab the growth. Let's go for the tea parlor here. Control is really not great. Here in the Aymara Swamps, the Thayans are not, not taking to mosquitoes all the time. Couldn't, couldn't imagine why. Good business. Celestial General. I guess the question is, do we come out to try to make further gains, or do we kind of let uh, Mei Yuan do it? Let's, let's stay and... Uh, I will make a soldier. Out of every up a few more recruits. spearmen, so I'm gonna actually combine up I a few of these guys here. Forces in balance. Veterans, he be damned. And we'll grab a couple more spears. Awesome. Board not moved. Celestial General. They're enjoying their time playing ping pong. Man, but oh yeah, over here at the jungles of Pahualaxa. Uh, Anything that boosts our own movement range? The answer is a hefty no, so we'll just go for the Jade Dragon's Edict. Uh, fixing up control. Sounds good to me. If my ancestors could see me now. Right, Bastogne falls. Sad day in Bretonia. Well, Marienburg also falls. Sad day of the Empire. Looks like sad days everywhere. Governor, an executioner. Yes, indeed. Yuan, we need you to be sprinting down south quite quickly. We don't know what the lizard men are going to be up to, but I'm pretty sure it's not fighting. Not fighting Marathi. They like that we were fighting the New World Colonies and the Blue Vipers, but both have been wiped out, so they need a new foe. We haven't met Marathi, so we don't know how he feels about her. Now. Ooh, deals with Reichland. The Celestial College Doink. implores that I hear you. I remain unconvinced. Excuse me? Where is your glorious mustache? I remain unconvinced. Well. Welcome, Alliance. 
There is that one shifted quite quickly. Child of leader of vampire of the waves. There is no peace. Not for any threats to Cathay. One bell will have you go into march. Might actually be faster to go across the water, so that's what we'll do. Go, brave warriors of Cathay. Brave warriors of Cathay. We will absolutely quickly upgrade the Isle of the Crimson Skull here. And the contemplation gardens as well. Yao Kang, and you come on up. It will be worth to go into march. Quick march. Into pop walks. In the he wouldn't be much of a chance for uh, likes of Mazda Mundi by himself. I don't know, but if we're hanging out in the hot walks, I think we should be able to hold them back if they try anything. But because of that, I'm also going to go ahead and upgrade the Shrine of Sotek first in order to get the dyes. See if there's any better dyes give us. Pottery gives us just pottery. Dyes give us control. Oh, no, they don't. Interesting. Okay, well, they still give us something. And this is a little bit closer to friendly lines anyway. This we'll go ahead and upgrade the shrine. All right, back home to the Riverlands. Giant Wu can go up to three, tier 3 as well. That's going to drain us of our gold. That's just fine. Jungles of the Green Mist. Can we actually upgrade the grazing pastures? Sweet. Gotrek and Felix hanging out on a farm together. There's not a fanfic somewhere about that one. You whoa. The dragons. You what? Go ahead and give you a spearman to fight off any large units and to get kind of their important targets bogged down in if we need to. It's only a matter of time before the Dark Elves strike. General of the Celestial Host. It's not paranoia. It's true. Go ahead and pop out of Jingpo. Stay mobile. I'm gonna go into an ambush and see if we can't figure out where the rats are. Ooh, there they are. Speaking of. Deathmaster shows himself. Him and all of his clan rat Celestial General. goons. Attention! Back in the Jingpo, we go. This doesn't look good at all. But you know what? We're gonna come out of Jingpo once more and go into an ambush dance. Trickery is unbecoming. Unnecessary. Unnecessary. Exactly. Building harmony. Don't tell me he hasn't been moved. He clearly has been moved back and forth a couple times. Garrison Lord, Go Trek Felix. No all right. That is going to be all the time I've got for today. We'll give it one more intern here and see how things play out. All right, and while we didn't manage to ambush them, it looks like Skrull has tried to sneak through the underway. What a foolish rat. He's brought all of They have emptied out the mines, haven't they? All of the Skaven Slaves, Spears, all of the normal Skaven Slaves, a couple of Night Runners that are likely they're being used as, like, overseers for the group. Uh, since this is Clan Ashen, I think they get a bunch of extra armor piercing. It's like 100% bonus armor piercing damage, which on some of these guys is only like one or two. Uh, but on others is closer to like 11. Yeah, it kind of flips the base missile. These guys have quite a bit of armor piercing. We want to keep them a little ways away from Iwan Mao, but I think we should have it. no trouble clobbering them, especially since Otter Resolve thinks we shouldn't either. But there's a lot more rats here. This will be a proper fight against the Skaven. So that is going to be all the time I've got for today. I hope you all enjoyed today's Iwan Bo Mortal Empires campaign episode. If you did, remember to leave a like for like, comment, and subscribe to this episode. I'll see you in the next one.